So oh, we're we selling uh, popcorn with the Cub Scouts okay. today. And if they don't, How many years have you done that? Uh, oh, we have sold a lot of popcorn here. This is our third year. But I've been coming to the festival since it first started. It's a blast. Me too. It's the only yeah, festival I know where they closed down the main street. Yo, I see him on Facebook. Hey, so. My name is Eric Vineyard, and I'm the Bear Cub Scout Den Leader. Really? Tell me your name. I'm Eli Vineyard, and I'm a Bear Scout. Wow. I'm also a cookie judge here at the Hoppin' Heritage Festival. I did that last year, and I understand there are only a few categories of cookies this year, and uh, there are 10 uh, cookies to judge. So we have four judges, who also will assemble in just a few minutes to do that part of it. My name is Buzz Brazo. I'm the superintendent of the Central School District here in the Monmouth Independence area. And it's been my pleasure to be involved. This is my first year in the area, and it's been my pleasure to be involved not only in the planning of the Hops Festival, but in in uh, also working with the Ghost Walk. I was a ghost host last evening, and today I've been involved kind of in the background, uh, assisting throughout the day, and of course had the opportunity to judge the cookie eating contest and here shortly the uh, pie eating contest. What do you think of the festival so far? Well, it's wonderful. You know, I mean, I've, I've here, we've been in town, I think, uh, three or four months, and I think there's been at least three different celebrations. So the people around here enjoy getting together, enjoy one another, and it's just wonderful to see this. Where do you come from? Uh, actually, we moved here from uh, Hermiston. We are in Hermiston for eight years. Uh, used to live in the Portland area, and then we're 12 years down in Medford, but uh, just have recently come from Eastern Oregon. All right, thank you. you My name's Jamie, and we're um, doing the cookie bake-off at Independence Hops and Heritage Festival. And we have four categories, the drop category, the rolled cookie category, um, bars, and then an other for something that just doesn't quite fit. Our judges today are Jan Stover, Buzz Raza is this one, Debbie Bach, and Dave Mark. What's that? Don't you eat that girl? Oh. I'm rooting for the two girls. What's your name? Yes. Kennedy and you are? Amanda. Amanda. Go, Kennedy. Go, Amanda. Show these Amanda, boys what it's all about. Hands behind your back. Come on. Come on. Who's ready? Yeah. You can do Parents, this. who's ready to watch oh, them? Yeah. First off, let's thank Ovenberg for donating the pies. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to win a free pie?
on two different categories. Can the, Caleb, are you okay? You're the cleanest, so sorry. The winner not only... Look, look at everybody, look at the parents. Say cheese, everybody. Cheese! The winner is not only the bestiest, but the only one that I can see the pie can. Congratulations! All right, all kids, step over here. We'll get you guys cleaned up. It's, uh, I lost my wife, and I had uh, some year, uh, some year, three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the kid said, uh, "Dad, uh, why, why don't you buy a car?" So I, I went ahead and got me a supercar, <laughs> which is a, a Shelby, and it risked for uh, uh, fifty-one thousand. Uh, I got it for 47. It was more than I ever paid for an automobile. All the kids showed up when I bought it because they thought I was going to kill the motor when I left, but I made sure I didn't do that. So that's about all there is to it. Carol Shelby, the man who has made it all possible for us to enjoy this day. This is a final salute from all of us to all of Carol. When you hear Alan Grant fire his engine, light him up. Well, it's the first time I've been in this uh, Civic Center, which is a beautiful building. Yeah. TomBergeron.us. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks. show that we've done here for the city. Um, it was a juried show. We have over uh, oh, 40 pieces or so that we've juried in. And it hangs for three months. It'll hang through the month of December. Um, and we just enjoy doing it. We've got music here and wine and food and enjoying a nice evening at the reception and the hot festival. And this is the second year we've done it. Good. Yeah. 
And yes, we have local restaurants that are providing food and whatnot from the city of Independence, so that's been really helpful also. The gallery is right down on Main Street um, in Independence. What's the address? 184 South Main. 184 South Main Street. Yeah. We're open uh, every day but Mondays from 11 to 5. And we've been in business about 15 years now, so. We have a website, yeah, if you just go on rivergallery.com, you can see the list of our artists and our events and whatnot, so. Okay. Thank you. I am Michelle Van Volkenberg from Vita Springs Vineyard. I'm the owner and uh, operator of our family business. I've been involved with this art festival. This is my first year, and um, I'm glad to be a part of it, as we feel that wine is an art as well. We're pouring our um, estate Riesling, which is a dry Riesling. Uh, we're pouring our Rosé, which is also a dry uh, wine, and our 2009 Pinot Noir, from our, all of, from our estate vineyard. You can find us um, online at vitaspringsvineyard.com or on Facebook, Vita Springs Vineyard, and you like our page and you can find all of our fun events that we do out at the vineyard, um, from wine dinners to um, happy hour every Friday. Uh, my name is Richard Bunsey. I'm uh, from the River Gallery. I'm one of the partners. There's 15 of us that own the gallery and we've been operating in Independence for the last 15 years and uh, we've been involved in a, a lot of uh, civic projects and one of them is the Art in the City show which we did the first one last year, this is our second one. And uh, kind of celebrating the new Civic Center and the new event space we've got. The Veterans Reception has historically been part of the Hoppin Heritage Festival. Um, we realized last year that the event unfortunately did not take place and so the Veterans of Foreign War post uh, 3203 here in town um, decided that that needed to be resurrected this year and it's just a time for us to come together with our veterans um, to thank them for their service and their sacrifice um, to bring over some museum displays and just to really have um, just a wonderful time celebrating um, the dedication that these men and women have had to our country. you'd like more information can be reached at vfwaux3203 at gmail.com. Um, I got the track ready, I worked the ground, I watered it down, then I did tracking all day, keep it going all day, just trying to keep the dust down. It really isn't working right now. Jeremy Walton? How much did you win your ribbons for? Uh, this was our Case 401 for 6,000 pounds, Formal 400 for 6,000 pounds, and this was the Case for 7,000 pounds. Congratulations, how many days have you worked down here? I've worked down here... He's just moving on, there he goes, he's done. Last two, three days? A lot of work, huh? Yeah. Have you been down here before to some of the tractor pulls before? Yeah, I've been down here pulling for three years, four years. At the hot pass Yeah. Wow. swab on a cock shut. And this cock shut is our mayor's trophy winner of the day.
track. And uh, you've done a wonderful job on our parts of the back of the Gentlemen, these are the Independence Wagon Wheeler Square Dance Club. How many of you knew you had a square dance club in Independence? You don't. We dance a Rickery all. <laughs> all right. Hey, let's bow to the partner and corner to join hands and circle to the left. Do an album and left to album and there go right and left. Gonna make you star in the boy swinging. Got a backup star. Back it on down the line and go. And then when you're there, shoot that star. Go right and left grand with enthusiasm now. Pick it up. Let's go. Promenade when you find your girl. Get a walk and move and round the ring. And then when you're home right now, here we go now. Side two, square through four. Circle up four with the outside two. Break out, make a line of four. Move it up to the middle and go touch a quarter. Call them circle. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm Dan Diebel. I race out of Oregon City. I race with Randy all over Oregon. And uh, it's a fun sport. Randy uh, is probably one of our biggest promoters, uh, without a doubt. And uh, he does an excellent job. He lines up all these races for us. Randy? Yeah, I'm uh, Randy Marshall. I'm uh, a local rancher from Womack. Uh, a lot of people don't know where Womack is, but uh, it's on the other side of the mountain from here. Uh, we're down here for the weekend, first time we've ever been here. This is a, a great show they have here with the tractor pull and this lawnmower racing, and uh, I'm glad I came. It was a great, great day today. How long have you been promoting the lawnmower racing? This is uh, our fourth year for Sportsman Grass Car Racing there in Obama. This is our fourth year of racing. And we travel up into Washington, over into Idaho, and all over Oregon, wherever we can, to race and promote the sport and bring it back to Obama where we can. And if somebody wanted to join you guys, how did they get a hold of you? Uh, they can go to our website or Facebook. Sportsman Grass Car Racing, and then get on Facebook or our website, either one. Okay, thank you. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> you have two, and Pick Pickleheimer, Picklesheimer gets the next one. And I'm going to give my boy the junior one just there so you go. he didn't drive mama crazy and left me here all alone. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thanks, Chuck. Right. Great trophies, trophies too. Greg, like can yeah, you guys hold trophies. up your trophies? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get over here. Get a bowl of them, Michelle? Thank you. Yeah. Come on, John, get in here. John, get in here. Get in here. Come on, Mom. John. What you got, Michelle? Hold it, John. That's really good. Great tan. You're on the Michelle, show me a trophy. Oh, all right. Good job. Oh, thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome right. Thank you. I made sure I put Jake and Will on. Kimber Townsend. I'm the program coordinator for the Polk County CERT program. I've been with CERT for 11 years now and currently serving as their coordinator for the past previous two years. We operate out of the City of Independence Police Department, but we are the only CERT program in Polk County and cover all of the county when response requires it. We currently have about 80 members active and strong. We recruit on a regular basis, holding three yearly academies. In Polk County, we've responded on a myriad of different disasters, mostly flood response and search and rescue for missing people. We do an active amount of education throughout all the major communities and countywide, and also in the tribal communities of Grand Ronde, helping people understand the importance of being self-reliant and self-sufficient in a mass, mass disaster event. Some of the activities that we do is work with the Boy Scout troops to help them complete their disaster preparedness units. We're actively in the schools. We help with faith-based organizations to help them get their membership um, ready to uh, be self-sufficient and help the church community when we have a major disaster. 
I also work at Western Oregon University and we're engaged in discussions on helping the special needs populations that are deaf, hard of hearing, or blind incorporate some disaster response planning into their daily lives and, and plans for when a big event happens. It's our goal overall to educate our entire community and create an entirely resilient community. The less victims we have in a disaster, the more effective our first responders' response will be. To that end, our classes are free for anyone who wants to come learn about the CERT techniques, um, being prepared, fighting small fires, taking care of friends and family medically. It's only if you choose to join the team that there is a small fee that pays for the gear and supplies we issue you. So overall, our, gear is, or our goal is just to train as many people as we can and help everyone become a survivor in a mass disaster event. I'm uh, Larry Peterson. I own uh, Longboard Larry. We manufacture longboard skateboards. And uh, we put on a uh, skateboard push race at the Hops and Heritage Festival. Uh, it was 7.5 miles going from Independence, uh, the Riverview Park, out to the Rogue Hop Farm. Uh, how are you going to get that thing on the podium? <coughs> <coughs> My grandpa. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, go! <laughs> Uh, we've been in independence for two years now. And if somebody wanted to get a hold of your company, where do they get a hold of you? Uh, longboardlarry.com. The best option. And on Facebook? And yeah, on uh, Facebook slash longboardlarry. Funny, thanks to Root, for the top eight places. So, we'll, we'll figure out. We'll show our top eight places, get them some money, get some pictures, and then we'll start. Uh, Got wrap one off right here. here. What? Eight place. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> okay, so start with eight. Which uh, <laughs> was, I have blue shirt, Chris. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what it has down. Blue shirt, Chris. I'm um, seventh. It's Corey Poole. Johnny at sixth. Jed in fifth. What'd you get, Jed? Fourth is Abel. <laughs> Abel. Third is Nathan. I'm like, oh, Tori's always my competition. I know. We're always. We got second. Yeah, the other end, Nathan. Second is Brandon. And first place is David. Yeah, he knows that.
Okay, uh, I'm Keith Aldrich. I'm the power tech in charge of tonight's fireworks shoot. Uh, I believe this is about the sixth or seventh year we've done fireworks for Hop Festival. I've been doing fireworks for about 30 years for the community here. Uh, tonight's show will be about probably about 10-15 minutes long. Um, for the size of the show, we do the best we can. Uh, the finale will be something to look forward to, and we're going to put on a good show for the community. And hopefully, everybody's going to enjoy it tonight. You know, as we talk about all these things. I think there's a flavor that comes through that I think is really important. You know, there's we, this festival is about heritage. It's about remembering where we came from. But it's also about celebrating what we are. And this is a place where a lot of young business people have started out, have just begun, and have taken their first plunge. There's an entrepreneurial spirit. And whether that was from the 1840s when people came on the covered wagons or people that came in the last few years that have moved in here from other parts of the world, this is a place where you can be successful and it's a warm and friendly enough community that you know wraps your arms, the collective community arms around you. And it's a place where people can, can really be successful. It's a place where you can raise your family and be proud of it. It's a place where, you know, everybody loves being able to do something that you can't, you can't live in a big city. You don't have a cookie eating contest. You don't have a pie contest. You don't have a critter parade. You don't see the Cub Scouts selling hot dogs and popcorn. This is the kind of place that people love to come to. You know, they think, you think that only communities like this only live in a Norman Rockwell painting, but we really live here. This is how things are. People know each other here. And if you're out of money or you forgot your wallet in the car, the business owners are going to say, Pay me when you come back in, pay, you know, take care of it, and we know where you are. This is that type of a community, and I'm really proud of that. And it's the Hop Festival is, is our celebration. It's celebrating what we are, and um, it is the all-American community. You know, John, I read, um, I, I've been perusing historic newspapers, and I read one that talked about how independence did its road work in the early days. This was from oh, about 1910. And what they did was when the roads needed to be serviced, they declared road work day. All the businesses closed down and every able-bodied male from 16 and above came out and worked on the roads for the day. And it was done. That's right. I think that spirit is still here. Yes, it is.